Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm Pinkie Pie here once again, and I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here. We are back for some more yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my last play of Super Mario Party for the Nintendo Switch in Challenge Road. So yesterday, or in this case, not so much in yesterday, but in the forms have been the last weekend, is that we did manage to able to gone through uh, Waltz 3 and 4, which is essentially Mushroom Beach, and especially noticeable with, uh, well, I would say by the forms of, uh, um, you know, Spooky Hollow or something. And, uh, yeah, today for this particular video for this point is the fact that I think we might actually go ahead and conclude, uh, Challenge Road by going through the fifth world and possibly the final world in the forms of in Challenge Road. So even then, though, let, th let us get this thing to it with the forms of the first mini game in this world in, uh, Salty Sea, as was the name of this particular world supposed to be. And that is the forms of metal detectors, which in this one we need to gather about 20 coins, and that's all there is to it. But then again, with the HD rumble function turned on, which is automatically turned on as a matter of fact, you can't afford to turn this off or anything like that. So naturally speaking, that um, if you manage to gather about 20 of those coins, you should be fine. And the next mini game we have is Take a Step, where basically I believe we need to get about 40 points, or no, 45 points, sorry. Yeah. And, uh, basically it's all about the timing accuracy, but then again, if you did a little bit too much or too early or too late, well, you're probably not gonna be able to actually pass this, so... But, uh, we'll see what happens there, we'll, uh, see what happens there. So today's day is the forms of, uh, the 20th of July, in this case in 2019, so naturally we're getting quite close towards the end of, not only for the sake of this let's play, not to mention, is the fact that, and also, it's also about the fact that we're actually getting quite close towards the end of July, so even then though, I just cannot even believe that time itself just goes way too fast than an attempt to, so even then though, oh, just perfect amount. Even then though, we're almost gonna get screwed over for that specific ending sequence right there, but apart from that, we actually did got it, so yeah, top notch that is. Alright, so the next minigame ha we have right here is off the chain, and basically in this one, we can't afford to be able to get knocked out, and if we do, well, we need to redo the entire minigame again, so in this case, we are teaming up with uh, Daisy and Mario. So naturally speaking, dodging the chain jump right there is actually a lot easier compared to the forms of how it does it in Mario Party 4 in uh, Chain Jump FIFA, which because of this though, you know, with the actual like, there's too much chaos back in Dreamer Likes the Vein Chain Jump FIFA, which is essentially, you know, you know, too much fire cracks on the floor and stuff, which I'm happy to say is not as noticeable this time around though, because it plays exactly like, uh, Flatiator from Mario Party 5, but except the fact that rather than just balancing on the ball, instead now we can able to ride all the- the team of one, potentially, were able to ride on a chain jump, so... Something's worth mentioning for that specific point right there. So, but then again, we do apologize with the lack of uh, footage right there because if you couldn't tell, sometimes the capture card doesn't seem to able to run nearly as much of the time on a perfect um, standpoint. So, anyways, so let's move on to the next mini game here, looking for love. And basically, in this one, we need to own for about 30 points. So, but the catch is, is the fact that you really can't afford to miss one of them. So, even then, though, if you do miss once, well, you need to redo the entire minigame again, so even then it's all about, well, faster reaction timing, and especially noticeable with, uh, well, uh, patience most of the time. Well, usually, as far as you can able to actually be fast enough, not to mention, then you weren't able to pass it. So even then, though, not too bad, not too shabby either. So, um, I guess there's not much else we can probably go to explain about this for this point today, folks, because apart from the fact that we'll, uh, We'll probably state about this right about now, is the fact that, uh, since we're actually getting quite close towards the end of, uh, Challenge Road, and possibly for the sake of time, that not only when it gets to the point until tomorrow, but it's also during the likes of in the next weekend, will be the final two videos of Super Mario Party, and after that, well, I guess we'll pretty much take a break on certain Mario Party Let's Plays. Speaking of such, um, uh, when it comes to our, uh, duologies of Let's Plays of both Mario Party 1, and especially notable with Mario Party 2 Let's Play that we did, most of did done back in the past, but if you couldn't tell already for this point, folks, um, uh, both Mario Party 1 and Mario Party 2 Let's Plays is no longer hosted here. Which, uh, we'll probably explain more details onto that specific stuff 
the dream when it gets to the point until at the very end of this year. So even then, I will uh, explain more details onto that soon. So here we go on um, Home on the Ring. And basically in this one, we need to get up to like 60 points. So it's not much else to really say and, say and done for this point. So, and by the way, when you when you able to actually beat the actual... Uh, you know, challenge mode. There's also the uh, the second unlockable mode. In this case, for that's uh, the actual uh, harder mo uh, harder version of this particular mode. You know, very similar to the forms of how it does it in uh, you know in Mario Party uh, uh, the top 100, where basically after when you beat the main uh, mini game island, where basically if you manage to completely done with that, it doesn't matter what uh, if you manage to get off the mini stars or something. Depends on what positions you're in. Specifically, whenever you come across into the luck-based mini-games, which is Balloon Busters, or Bowser's Big Blast, or you name the rest. And basically, if you manage to be able to actually completely done with uh, the normal mini-game island in, uh, you know, in Mario Party The Top 100, you actually unlock yourselves the harder course or the harder version of that particular mode. Which uh, we'll probably uh, mention some more details onto that though, whenever we did manage to be able to unlock uh, the second, uh, difficulty mode in, uh, you know, in challenge mode. But in order to actually do that, though, is the fact that we need to complete the actual, uh, challenge mode as normal. So even then, though, because of this, though, similar to the top 100, where basically, um, there might be some different stimulations here and there, even though we're actually going to be coming across into the exact same minigames over and over and over again, but with, uh, different stimulations and all that stuff. So even then, though, as a matter of fact though, Pinkie Pie, until it gets to the point until tomorrow, and especially noticeable with uh, the next weekend, which should be the forms of the final two videos we're going to be doing, uh, we might actually cut out some of these uh, failed montages when it comes to the forms of... Uh, oh, that was a really bad start. But I'm sure enough we can able to get this just fine enough, Pinkie Pie, as it is. Oh yeah, for this particular challenge, all you need to do is, is basically we need to do in block and load essentially, is that we need to do simultaneously... Oh, actually, let's restart this. Thankfully though, uh, not to mention, if you keep on failing the actual minigame objective, thankfully though, there's also a fastest way you can able to actually just uh, uh, get back into action, where you can simply just able to actually select start over on your pause menu, so... Yeah, there's a pretty easy tracking and easy going, but even then, if you manage to screw things up quite a few times, then, you know, good thing for you is that the start over option was the thing for you. So even then, though, that, uh, yeah, in this one, we need to able to only do seven shots on that specific run. But until later on, though, it gets a little bit more tricky and difficult. So, there we go. So let's move on to, probably is, to me, though, is one of the hardest rhythm minigames in the entire game. At least to me, though, anyway, which is... Well, clearing the table. And why I say that is because, well, to me, the timing aspect on this mini game is completely strict in my opinion. Because we did manage to time this thing right enough as it is, but Pinkie Pie is having a hard time because of how the fact that with the actual timing aspect on this mini game is completely strict for that stimulation. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to restart that. So, uh, yeah, it's not that gonna be that good though, aggressively as this. So,. So as a matter of fact though, about the fact that, uh, with the forms of, uh, you know, the forms of, uh, the, uh, the original Mario Party Let's Play, and especially noticeable with Mario Party 2 Let's Plays, managed to able to no longer, uh, you know, usually there anymore though, because, uh, usually as far as I can tell, it's the fact that, well, the original Mario Party Let's Play is okay enough as it is, but the actual quality is especially noticeable when, uh, back in the day, we actually did manage to use the camera back in the day, but, uh, Obviously, with the lack of uh, good quality and all that stuff, and especially noticeable with the commentary and stuff as well, I could show that. Uh, not to mention about this point, Pinkie Pie is the fact that Duffy actually misses out extra stuff, like for instance, mini game stadium, and let's not forget to mention about the mini game island, especially as well. And uh, because of this, though, he's way too scared of uh, losing uh, all the well progress for that specific run. Anyway, so let's try this uh, minigame again, because again, with all its timing aspects, uh, the, you know, several mistakes in one hand. But obviously, for the third time in a row, I think we actually got this just fine. But obviously, in this one is that we need to aim, or we need to earn, rather, uh, 20 points. So, it shouldn't, too, it shouldn't take too long if you manage to be able to get your, uh, you know, motion controls accurate enough for that specific uh, rhythm-based uh, uh, stuff. So, oh, really? No. Let's start this again. Huh. 
I can't believe, I think we actually did manage to screw this over plenty of times during the actual Rhythm mini games. So, let's just hopefully we can able to do this for a fourth time and hopefully we can pass this. So, well it all depends on that really though, Pinkie Pie, because sometimes the timing in this is completely strict in my eyes. Because even then, we swear we did manage to time the actual, um, you know, that little circular formation just about right enough as, as, as far as we'll go. But most of the time, though, we keep on getting ourselves screwed over for that specific, uh, you know, timing aspect. And once again, folks, I do apologize for the actual, uh, in-game footage right now because of how the fact that our capture card is, seems to be a little bit more jinxed up or fuzzy sometimes. But even then, though, let's just hope being enjoying tomorrow's video. Um, we're not gonna let that happen again with all this, uh, glitched up, uh, f uh footage and all that stuff, so... Sometimes it usually normally happens in some capture cards these days now, so even then, though, that's besides the point. Alright, so 25 points really does matter, so even then, though, thankfully, though, we did manage to pass that, so... Jeez, that really took about, like, six attempts on that particular run, Sonic. Yeah, I know that, right? Because, again, with all these timing aspects, we keep on messing things up. And even then, though, you probably get the idea for that, so... Anyways, so here we go with this mini game right there. Where basically we need to reach to the very end of this particular mini game within 50 seconds. So this kind of reminds me of something related to uh, Super Monkey Ball almost, but except the fact that well we're not actually controlling the ball. Instead, we're actually going to be uh, controlling the actual character. It doesn't matter what characters you're going to be using for the majority of that specific uh, mini game as this. But if you do fall off, or yeah, if you essentially fall off, then the actual mission itself will be finished. So, in this case, you were able to fail the challenge. You know, just like your likes of how it does it on Super Monkey Ball stuff. But, um, obviously we're not in a ball, aren't we? Yeah, despite the fact though, Sonic though, is the fact that I'm pretty sure that you, or Duffy for that matter, did already mention about- Oh, actually I think Duffy mentioned about this the majority of the time for um, Super Mario Galaxy 2 Let's Play is that, uh, you know, Super Monkey Ball is finally back. But this time around though, on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and also for the likes of Nintendo Switch and PC. In fact, generally speaking, with that specific, uh, you know, all three versions, or four versions I should say, it's been a very, very long time since we actually have ourselves, um, you know, all the, uh, different platforms on the Monkey Ball game since Super Monkey Ball Adventure for in 2006. For the Nintendo GameCube, PlayStation 2, and PSP. And, uh, because of this though, the majority of the time, which is the original version of, uh, Banana Blitz, uh, did manage to able to came out only exclusive to the Nintendo Wii back in 2006, which is the exactly the same year, as we got ourselves the, uh, let's just say the worst Monkey Ball game experience, which is of course Super Monkey Ball Adventure, and especially noticeable with, uh, the DS title, which is, uh, Touch and Roll, and now in 2006, and at the very end, I think, with, uh, the launch title or something, we actually got ourselves Banana Blitz for the actual capabilities of the Wii Remote controls. And, um, also the same applies for, uh, the, uh, I would say Step and Roll, which is also a Wii exclusive title, which is only came out on the Nintendo Wii just because of the actual Wii Balance Board capabilities. And also, same applies for uh, the Super Monkey Ball 3D for the Nintendo 3DS because of the actual capabilities of the 3D uh, effects or, what, or anything like that. And also, let's not forget to ourselves the PlayStation feature installment, which is uh, Banana Split. Uh, due to the fact that with, uh, you know, nostalgia memories from the past Monkey Ball games, but it's also the fact that with the actual, uh, PlayStation Vita's, uh, capabilities, like the actual camera, uh, make your own level, or anything like that. So, uh, that's as far as I can usually say about this point here. Yeah, which is true for that part, Pinkie Pie. It's definitely true for that regard. So anyways, now let's move on to uh, Pi Hard, where basically we need to beat the actual rival team, and that's all you have to really do about it. So even then, let's go ahead and mess up with the princesses. Well, to be more specifically, Princess Peach and Rosalina. So even then, though, we're actually getting quite close towards the end of that specific uh, Salty Sea, and so when it gets to the point until, uh, well, as you, can see, as you can see on screen, we're actually going to be using Luigi on this world. But then until it gets to the point until at the end of the road, we are definitely going to be saving up for Mario for last. Because, well, Mario has actually got his own name for that particular title. So even though, to be expected by this point. So even though, 
yeah, let's just go ahead and just, you know, uh, you know, just finish them off by, uh, winning about, like, 19 points, which is 6 points above from theirs. So even then, though, we actually did this no problem. So, yeah, not bad. Alright, so I believe next up we have is, uh, Water Records, where basically we need to beat the rifle team. So, and a good thing about this is, is the fact that this minigame is super easy, because if you're in a team of one, it makes a very, very good advantage when it comes to some of these uh, parts and all that stuff. So even then, though, chances are you might actually have ourselves an easier time on this particular minigame more than a team of three. Because uh, we'll get into more details onto that specific stuff in during tomorrow, and especially noticeable for the majority of you know, the next weekend. So even then, uh, chances are, you might actually get yourselves, you might be thinking about the fact that, well, aren't you gonna do the, uh, well, the second playthrough on, uh, Challenge Road? Because, uh, you know I, how the fact that we couldn't able to actually do with all five of the playthroughs of, uh, River Survival's hard mode? Just because of how ridiculous this is. Because of how the fact that it's so strict to, to able to actually get ourselves the insane amount of balloons. Even in this case, smaller balloons to be more exact. But let's not get ahead of ourselves for this point, Pinky. Because now we actually come across into the final mini game in Salty Sea. In this case, we have ourselves pull it together, which again, is really, really easy due to this now button mashing instead of the forms of the actual analog stick control. Because, again, if it's analog stick controls, then it will become easily breakable. And especially not to mention, it does have this really weird collusion thing where if you manage to able to fiddle around with the control stick multiple times, uh, it does this very, very, really weird drifting thing where basically... Every time you're able to actually select something, or in this case, if you're trying to calibrate your analog stick at some point for your Joy-Cons, uh, what happens is, though, is the fact that uh, your uh, analog stick will move slightly, which I think Stuart might actually come across into that issue whenever he did manage to play through a bit on uh, Hyrule Warriors or something. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a coincidence anyway. So, you made it to the final stage. So in this case, we're now on to the end of the road, and this one actually has a lot of minigames to be able to actually participate in for. So even then, though, we got 17 minigames to come across. So, first off is, of course, uh, cruising for the bruising, where basically we need to survive in this minigame for about 40 seconds. So, but then again, you need to be able to actually be very careful, even if you really don't want to run into the forms of the whole bunch of boxes. Because if you do manage to run into those couple of boxes, well... You pretty much guarantee you're gonna get screwed over no matter what, even if you accidentally get slowed down by the actual, like, boxes getting your way. Even let's not forget to mention about the actual computer players themselves, too, so even I know you probably expect at this point, Sonic, so... But I digress, though, so even then, let's just go ahead and, uh, well, looks like Waluigi definitely gonna get himself screwed over. And once again, folks, do apologize for the actual capture card, uh, errors or anything like that. We definitely need to fix that at some point in the likes of in. Uh, later on after this recording session Sonic because I know it's getting pretty ridiculous especially noticeable that despite the fact that we got ourselves that particular uh, Roxio game capture HD Pro for about four years now so even I know ever since Andrina likes it been uh, I would say in 2015 in July so even I know if you couldn't tell from that specific part Alright, so the next minigame here is Can Take Pancake, and in this one we need to get about 10 points. So I highly suggest you go after the, uh, the Star Pancake, uh, once, so just in case you can able to- Oh, this is ours! Whew, that was really close. Because, uh, if, uh, one of those, uh, opponents managed to able to snack it off us, well, we're probably gonna get ourselves screwed over. But nothing to worry about at this point, Sonic, because we can able to continue on to Wiped Out. And in this one, I believe we need to get about 100 points. So, it should be pretty easy, though, if you manage to get yourself your accuracy going with all this, uh, rhythm movements and stuff. So, even then, though, I think this is where the minigames themselves now, even with the forms of Challenge Road at the very end, starts to get a little bit more tricky and difficult as you progress. So, even then, though, chances are that you might as well be able to fail some of these minigames several times. Well, not necessary all the time, though, compared to the forms of, uh, uh, the later, uh, worlds in the forms of in the top 100, because in the top 100, always forces you to able to actually go through, like, luck-based minigames, but it doesn't matter if you, uh, lose or anything like that, it could be either second or third, or even essentially lose entirely, then you can able to continue your progression, 
But um, unlike in this game on the other hand though, if you do fail the actual objective where you need to go back onto that specific minigame where you are, it's are you able to actually continue your progressioning. So even then now, chances are, there's a little bit more of a different system. So it's a bit like how it did on uh, the original Mario Party and especially noticeable with Mario Party 2 with uh, the minigame Island as well as minigame Coaster simultaneously. But that's just how I think it is though, for this point Sonic, so uh, and uh, as you can see here on screen we are now going to be hit on to half the battle and basically in this one is the fact that we need to beat, uh, well, the rifle team and that's all you have to really do. So even though there's not much else than anything else to be said and done, so even though what makes this a little bit tricky is the fact that as you can tell that are uh, very similar to the forms of uh, the, one of those 8 player mini games in Mario Party 7. Where basically they have to wait until the actual bomb starts to flash for about, uh, you know, a few seconds worth noting for. But if you get, uh, exploded or screwed over, then you have to redo the entire minigame again. Oh, looks like we have ourselves a classic 101 ever since during the likes of in 1981. In this case, we have Mario vs. Donkey Kong, so bring it on, DK. Okay, so hopefully we should wait for a few seconds. No, 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 no. Oh, phew. Thank goodness for that. Because if we get beaten by Donkey Kong, then we have to redo the entire processing of that passing for those bombs again, so... But even then, though, we managed to get this in the end anyway, though, Sonic. We managed to get this. So there is though, and now we can continue. So even then, though, that uh, occasionally, every once in a while, though, is that like any forms of how it does it in Mario Party The Top 100, if you manage to come across into the, uh... Some end of the segments worth noting for is that sometimes NPCs manage to have a chat with you about the fact that you want to take a break or something. But honestly, we're probably not going to because we really want to get this mode done before we're able to actually get onto the, the actual final main point of the entire Let's Play of Super Mario Party, aside from the actual uh, hard mode on, uh, you know, River Survival mode for all the uh, routes throughout, so even then we might as well pass on that. And it's a good thing we did manage to pass for that part, Sonic, is because we did uh, had a very hard time on that specific uh, mode, in a uh, very hard mode, well, in this case a hard mode on, uh, you know, River Survival mode, as, for, as, as to be expected. So even then, uh, you probably get the idea for that, so... So anyway, so here we go with uh, sign steel delivery, and basically in this one is the fact that we need to beat the actual rifle team, and that's all you really have to do for this part. So even then, know that uh, well, we might be able to deliver, or in this case, steal some of these uh, delivery packages, and occasionally we might actually steal some other opponents' deliveries there too. So even then, let's go and steal daisies, and uh, looks like we're doing so good so far, even though despite the fact no, ah, oh, once again we off by one point. Ah, oh, jeez. We're having a hard time on a team of one, though, as it is, though. But even then, though, if you do get screwed over, Toad were able to actually say to ourselves, do you want to try this minigame again? Well, if you manage to select yes, then you can able to hop back into it. So even then, though, now we have ourselves, I would say, uh, two different players this time. I believe Daisy it still pretty much plays out exactly, uh, remains intact. So even then, though, this time we have Waluigi and Cooper Trooper this time. So even then, though, that, uh... We really hope we're not going to mess things up at this point, because until later on, though, throughout the majority of this Let's Play, even for next weekend, even this, in this case, uh, the actual final weekend for uh, Super Mario Party Let's Play, before the actual Let's Play is about to be finished, because of, you know, we're most likely going to have to focusing on, well, because, you know, you're still most able to focusing on, uh, you know, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix at some point soon, and especially noticeable with, uh, you know, NES Remix 2, and all that stuff. Well, to be honest with you, Pinkie Pie, I think I should probably head back onto the forms of uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix at some point in September, because at the moment right now, I'm actually going to be currently focusing on, you know, NES Remix 2 as it is, so even then, uh, once I'm done with NES Remix 2, then I can essentially going to come back onto specific uploading schedules for, you know, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, and especially noticeable for any other games sometime in the future, so even then, uh, you probably get the idea for this point, Sonic. Yeah, for that sound f for that sound effects you're gonna be hearing, uh, that's actually ripped uh, ripped right out of the forms of the new Super Mario Bros. games, basically. Yeah, because if you manage to continue your progressioning for the actual challenge road, uh, that particular sound, uh, you know, heavily borrows from the new Super Mario Bros. games, which I know some people seem to get pretty sick of the forms of the actual like the art style and stuff. But even then, though, I can honestly agree to that because even then, though. 
It might start to get a little bit top and repetitive every now and then, especially noticeable with, uh, you know, with the, you know, the art style between Mario Party 9 and Island Tour and Mario Party 10, Star Rush, and the Top 100, essentially. Well, despite the fact that in the Top 100, they managed to be able to bring back some of the old environments from, uh, you know, the Mario Party's past, from the console entries. Yeah, which is true for that regard, but still. So anyways, here we go with probably is the weakest uh, minigame of this entire world to me though, which is of course you can see on screen, timing is money, which again, the timing on this is completely strict to my eyes, because even then though, in order to actually pass for this particular minigame is that, well, we're short here, we need to collect about, about, uh, 15 coins without even getting blown up, so, but again, the only strict, the only strict thing about this minigame though, for me though, is of course the timing aspect, but then again, it's because of how the fact that if you screw up at least once, I recommend you not doing continuously, because if you do it continuously, then you're gonna get screwed over if you manage to land on that bar bomb spot super easily, so do not recommend doing that, because if you do, then you're probably gonna get yourself screwed over, so... So I want to classify that for this point, and I believe next up we have is, I think we're actually going to be teaming up with Yoshi in, I would say, half the battle. So even then, though, this one, we need to able to complete this without touching a single amp, so I wonder how this will be able to turn out to be. So even then, though, let's get this thing to it, and let's just go ahead and deliver those, and what the hell? Oh, it's basically, it's actually like a chain of sorts. Oh, jeez, I totally forgot about this, honestly. So yes, in order to actually just, uh... Um, you know, dodge the amps super easily in this minigame is the fact that you have to do some sort of a, uh, algorithm when it comes to, like, uh, moving your character's directions at points. Because, uh, if you do manage to able to accidentally get touched by the amps, well, basically you're gonna get self screwed over, so... And obviously in this in this particular challenge is the fact that it's very simple. Basically, we need to be able to beat the actual rival team, and that's all you really have to do for this part, so... But it's not that too noticeable, I don't think, because even then, though, that's, uh, when you get the hang of it, though, even if you really want to dodge every single of those amps, if you couldn't tell. Sometimes, though, they instantly just manage to drop automatically in some random spots, but even then, though, aside from that, if you manage to get the hang of it, then you would deal with it okay. But nothing, uh, usually too cryptic for my, uh, for my liking, but even then, though, that's besides the point, so... But obviously, since, uh, each team managed to able to have, like, uh, you know, three different uh, characters on screen. So even then, uh, that for instance, we got, uh, you know, Luigi and uh, Goomba essentially. But even then, uh, despite the fact that Princess Peach was actually in the opposite team, because uh, you know, I'm pretty sure because Peach might actually say to ourselves, um, Peach might actually give up on our team. So even then, uh, that's a little bit odd, but I. Uh, because again, much like in Mario Party 1 in Minigame Island, as well as the forms of uh, Mario Party 2 Minigame Coaster, and even with the Minigame Island in the Top 100, that the computer players managed to able to shuffle a lot if you managed to able to like keep on, you know, restarting the entire minigame again, so you probably get the idea. Alright, so here we go with the forms of uh, uh, Suit Yourselves, in this case the most tedious minigames of all time, even for the actual Mario Party game. And basically in this one though is the fact that we need to fish, finish this entire uh, card sequence without even miss about two times. So, and if you do miss about two times, well you have to redo the entire uh, tedium, tedium item again. So in this case you have to go for this entire uh, slot through for this entire point. So, I still really think this is easily the weakest uh, mini games in the entire set, honestly guys. Because I know for the fact that it's, it tends to drag every, every once in a while. Yeah, especially noticeable about the fact that if you really want to keep yourself moving, even if you really want to able to get this over with, well, too bad, you need to sit for all this kinds of stuff. And if you really want to guarantee for 100% for almost everything, for out in Super Mario Party, including the forms of hard mode in River Survival mode, well, you're gonna be able to actually see in this minigame loads of times if you keep on, like, popping those balloons from time to time, so... Yeah, it still is the most uh, tedious mini games of this entire Super Mario Party as it is, and it really makes me feel kind of sad, honestly, because even then, though, it is a very uh, cool concept, but what makes this a little bit dragged on is the fact that the actual processing of that specific uh, remembering thing uh, for about, I would say for about 10 or 8 seconds worth noting for, including the actual shuffling, so even then, though, that's... 
it feels pretty slow to me though, but thankfully though, until when it gets to the point until next weekend, which again, it should be the final weekend for the entire Let's Play of Super Mario Party, which we're able to actually come across into this mini game for the final time. So even then though, that when we're done with all that, well, we're not going to be able to see that mini game ever again, which uh, let me know in the comments below if you what you think about what you're going to be deciding to do. At some point in the future though, Sonic, I think we should probably do something like related to the top ranked on any single Mario Party games, including uh, the console games, including the handheld series as well. So, now of course we have ourselves time to shine, which basically we need to own for about, I would say 35 points. And then as you can see, Waluigi's managed to able to become a playable uh, section right there. And as, yes, as you can see right there, uh, Luigi should be in charge, so even that note, because if you manage to select either Waluigi and, uh, Luigi and Peach and Daisy, uh, sometimes you get yourself say, some sort of a different characters as a demonstration, or demonstrations, even then though, like, for instance, we have Waluigi on the playable, uh, uh, match, as you can see right there, and basically he's been replaced as Luigi. But if you do manage to play as um, Luigi on that specific mini game, along with Waluigi as a keep, uh, computer player, you'll be replaced by Princess Peach. And uh, finally, or in this case, another thing is that if you have Princess Peach as a computer player too, uh, that will also be replaced as Daisy. And uh, finally, if you manage to gather all of the uh, Time to Shine mini games onto that specific uh, run. Uh, like, for instance, Waluigi, Luigi, and Princess Peach, and Princess Daisy, uh, you're able to actually get ourselves replaced as Rosalina. So even then, there's a little bit of a difference when it comes to, like, depends on what characters you'll be using. Oh, that was actually a very good start right there, for able to actually gathering uh, some of these penguins from the very get-go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But we, what really matters, though, is the fact that we need to gather them up and then just trying to able to actually just... Uh, well, just trying to able to actually time the actual things itself correctly until you're able to actually gather more of those penguins from that specific center right there, so... But even endo, Sonic, you probably get the idea for that part, so even endo, let's just, uh, you know, gather the last, uh, two penguins, and if we've done so already, then we are done with, uh, penguin pushers. And I think fundamentally, though, for this point, Pinkie Pie, I think this will be actually be, uh, the last uh, you know, cooperative, uh, minigame, as far as I remember correctly, because, um, until at this point, until when it gets to the point, until at the very end, like, specifically, the next minigame we have is, uh, Candy Shakedown, where in this one, we need to able to take every single pieces of the candy out of the jar for about 20 seconds, so, yeah, that's about it, obviously, so even though that's as far as I can say about it, but until later on, though, it starts to get a little bit more tricky and difficult, as you probably expected by this point. Especially noticeable whenever we, uh, you know, get to the point until the next weekend, or something like that. Yeah, it's definitely next weekend. Then, uh, we can probably guarantee about the fact that, you know, we're going to be edited out a lot of jump cuts. Even with, uh, cutting out some of these, uh, failure attempts on some of the minigames later on. Yeah, we're just probably true for that regard, though, Sonic. So, uh... Excuse me, I just ate some chili dogs again. Yeah, which to be expected at this point, Sonic, so... Alright, so we're getting quite close towards the end now, so even then, now let's move on to making faces. And in this one, we need to aim for about... Um, I would say 80%, so even then, though, that uh, the face we are going to be doing is Mario, of course, so... I'm pretty sure it's always be, uh, it's always have to be Mario, or sometimes Bowser, it depends on the actual... Uh, you know, random, uh, decisions they might actually go for. So even that, though, we'll find things out whenever we get to, uh, you know, next weekend, in this case, the final weekend for, uh, Super Mario Party Let's Play. Um, consecutively, because, uh, uh, at the moment right now, uh, predictively speaking, is the fact that we're actually on 40 videos at this point for, uh, you know, in Super Mario Party stuff. Well, not so much, uh, 40 just yet, though, but until tomorrow anyway, though. Anyways, we got 91%, which is actually a little bit more enough as it is, but then again, until later on, though, then we're actually going to come across into that at some point. So, yeah, that's that done. And now let's move on to uh, Fuzzy Flight Score, and in this one, we need to aim for first place. So, that's all you have to really go after for. So, we got Pom Pom, Donkey Kong, and Daisy. So, you can end up that, uh, again, it doesn't really matter if we get hit, like, twice. So, but then again, if you manage to able to get hit, like, three times or whatever, well, you're probably going to get able to actually restart the entire minigame again. So, 
And it's also worth noting for is that uh, this won't be nearly as long though as compared to the forms of how it does it on Mario Fun, because in Mario Fun, it only lasted for about 90 seconds if you managed to able to actually just try to achieve that. So even then, I was to be expected at this point. So, all right. So, oh god, join Fuzzy! But uh, at least, uh, oh wow, we're actually in time for thirst. So yeah, that's pretty promising. Yeah, I do. I really guarantee about the fact that most of these computer players refuse to able to get knocked out no matter what. Yeah, which is probably true for that regard. So anyways, we got three more mini games left in Challenge Road. So next up we have is All-Star Swingers. And in this one, we need to aim for about 20 points. And if we do aim for 20 points, then we can able to actually just win this mini game. Well, at least for the actual challenge itself. So even then though, uh, basically it's not too bad though. It's just that you need to be exactly right on with the actual swimming, uh, the actual swinging. Uh, timing stuff or what have you. So yeah, you probably get the idea for that. Oh, what? What the hell? Uh, let's 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 restart this anyway. <laughs> we wasn't paying attention though, so I really do apologize for that part. So even then, let's try this one again. And conveniently enough, though, this will be actually be the last uh, rhythm-based mini game as soon as you know it. So even then, though. And I think fundamentally though, I think that pretty much does it for the 1 vs 3 mini games. Well, for now on anyway though, because again, until when we get to uh, tomorrow and the final weekend for next weekend. So naturally speaking, that, uh, you know, you probably get it just adjusted by that point. So, anyways, there we go. But slightly a little bit uh, too early for that regard. But even then though, we did manage to go in the end. So even then though, and we did manage to go quite enough points as this. So even then though, we are done. So anyways, now we come across into the final two mini games in uh, Challenge Road. So even then, uh, let's see what we got next. I can assure to you, it might be something related to that UFO. So even then, uh, it could be uh, Sphere Moguls. And in this one, we need to grab about 30 points. So, yeah, the best advice for this is, is the fact that you always have to go after the actual golden balls. So if you do manage to gather the golden balls, then you were able to actually just to gather the insane amount of points if you managed to able to actually just, uh, you know, track a thing well enough. So even then though, that's a pretty uh, easy mini game if you managed to get the accurate going. But uh, then again, until later on though, it might actually get a little bit more tough or difficult if we managed to able to actually just, uh, you know, get to that point until, you know, the, ne the next weekend or anything like that. But even then, we just want to classify for saying for that. So, and since we got ourselves 44 points, which is actually quite a lot, considering. But even then, though, we did manage to be able to gather for that um, the insane amount. So, uh, yeah, nicely swell. Alright, on to the last mini game in Challenge Road. And basically, we're actually uh, going to be competing against with Bowser, of all things. Because um, I'm pretty sure enough that we're actually going to be playing as Mario this whole entire time. So, naturally, we need to face against with him one on one. So, even then, though, on to Train in Pain. And in this one, obviously, we need to beat the rifle team. So, self explanatory stuff. So, even then, though, that's uh, obviously with uh, for this mini game is that obviously we do have. Uh, three players in that one specific uh, train right there. So, but then again, you always have to aim at the back because if you aim it from the side, well, it doesn't matter for the actual teammates from the back. But more accurately, though, the team leader, we always have to aim for the back because if you aim it from the side to side, well, it doesn't matter what side you're on. Uh, it doesn't really count as a hit, aggressively. So even then, those wanna stable us for that point right now. So even then, though, I think that pretty much does it for Challenge Road. And when we able to actually beat all the challenges in Challenge Road, I believe we're actually gonna be getting ourselves uh, the fifth and the final gem in Super Mario Party. So even then, though, but first of all, Mario, it's a Challenge Road goal. Everyone is so proud of you. Congratulations. And yes, we got ourselves a congratulations uh, screen right there. And um, of course, since we actually did manage to complete this, and uh, obviously we got ourselves the final reward if we managed to able to actually like, not only just for the sake of completing the actual mode, but it's also the fact that while well, I said this countless amount of times before, we might actually get ourselves the fifth and final gem, which uh, we might as well figure that out until right about now. And of course you get, uh, you know, Mario Party points to be expected. Or in this case, Party points in this game. So even then though, here's the, uh, the final gem. You've cleared every stage in Challenge Road. Way to power through. Yeah, I can at least expect that. Only someone with a burning, uncontrollable passion for minigames could have pulled that off. 
As a token of that passion, I present to you a the gem of passion which glows with joy. Which is basically is almost like a shape like a heart. Yeah, because at first and far is more likely a uh, the gem of love, but uh, it's more likely the gem of passion. So even then, uh, that's to be expected. So, wow, all five gems. I always thought you'll be the one, Mario. And then if we manage to gather all five of the gems, this actually happens. What? What is happening? Looks like they're about to be spiraling around and all that stuff. And then what do we get after getting uh, every single gem? Whoa. What is going on here? It looks like we have ourselves the biggest crown of all time. That That's the victory podium. The Only the true superstar is allowed on there. It's time for the award ceremony. In this case, depends on what characters you're going to be using, though. Uh, the only major difference is between the any single endings. In this case, I think this is actually the ending of the actual game. Even though, sadly, we don't get any cells unlockable or anything like that. But even then, I will mention more now than during tomorrow. So, you know. Ahem. I present to you our winner. The true superstar collector of all five gems. Again, it doesn't really matter what characters you're going to be using, but the true superstar is the one and only Mario himself. And then, uh, basically, if you manage to get onto that victory podium, we guess that's this particular quilt. You are a superstar. Nice. Oh, looks like Bowser managed to be able to get. Oh, what is he trying to say? Not bad, champ. You beat me to the punch. Ruhahaha. <laughs> Praising the champion even though you lost, so notable of you. Very impressive, and to think I owe it all, all to my party management skills. Now that the true superstar has been decided, everyone can get along. And Bowser stops clapping somehow. I wonder what is he trying to say? That's right, at least until the next party gets started. Wait a minute, you're telling me that Mario Party 12 will be on its way or something? Ugh! What do you mean next party? What, expecting it to believe about that the 12 installments will be on its way or something? Well, it could be a possibility of the next Nintendo Direct or something, but then again, Nintendo is actually a little bit more consecutive, or in this case, significant, with all these announcements or something. So, yeah, we don't get ourselves a true celebration or anything like that, so naturally I think Bowser wants to able to actually just uh, say, like, the next party should be getting started, but uh, I guess he did manage to able to rush off or something, so... Yeah, complain about it aside, but even then though, yeah, that's as far as we can go. And so the party came to a close, looks like it will be a while for another superstar to be crowded. So even then though, and then once that specific scene is finished, then obviously it takes us to the staff credits, which even then though, a little bit anticlimactic, I will say this much, even though it's exactly like how it did on that specific staff credits, if you remember from... Uh, Mario Party Star Rush, and especially noticeable in the top 100, but uh, obviously the major difference is now is the fact that well, there is a lack of uh, bottom screen, because unlike the Nintendo 3DS, that does have both screens, which is very obvious because of, uh, you know, between Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS, they do match uh, offers us the top screen for basically during gameplay, and especially noticeable for the bottom screen for the touchscreen functionality. So even then though, that's as far as we can able to get ourselves as a reward for uh, Super Mario Party, and um, for what I think about it, it's alright I suppose. Not the best reward we can able to actually comfort for. I kind of wish there was actually a, a unlockable board if we managed to be able to gather all the gems in the entire game, but sadly that's not the case here, because even then though, I just wish that the game will actually add something to it though, but then again, well, we'll mention more on that during the likes of in the next weekend, in this case, the final weekend of this entire Let's Play. So, I really do like this particular scene right there, where basically uh, any single Mario character is managed to be able to get a little bit of a cha uh, chasing montage 
Depends on what mini games are uh, items they are about to be using, like the bats, or especially noticeable with uh, the actual water gun, or in this, essentially with uh, the actual. Uh, I would say a, uh, their own weapon. Like for instance, Pom Pom managed to able to use her uh, ninja, uh, you know, uh, ninja staff or something. Or in this case, I don't know exactly what that Chinese item was known as, but even then though. And especially noticeable that Hammer Bro actually uses his own hammers to his disposal because of due to the actual uh, minigame victories or something. So even then though, that's as far as we can say with this particular stuff in mind. So even then though, well it's nothing remarkable compared to new forms of how he does it for that staff credits compared to new forms of the old days. But um, it was pretty cool though for able to actually see Mario characters going back and forth from those little... Uh, chasing montages, and at the very end, Mario on the tank from uh, Shell Shock Deluxe managed to able to come over, and obviously he's getting chased by the forms of that giant dice block itself, which is based off from Mario's dice block in Mario Party and Partner Party mode. So yeah, join us next time on Let's Play Super Mario Party, so join us tomorrow for more Let's Play of Super Mario Party, so that we're about to be hitting back into Challenge Mode, but on the forms of Master Mode, so see you guys tomorrow for that. Later, fellas.